do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. All right, y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today, we have a different type of video. This dude got cheated on multiple times. I'm talking about repetitively, and he decided to stay with the little Trishiana. You know what I'm saying? Now, now me couldn't be me. Personally, I would not let that slide. I'm a miss they call me Mr. One and Done, because one, one time, you're done. You know what I'm saying? One, done. You know what I'm saying? But this dude, he's telling his story. Well, I guess he's telling his story. I don't know. The, the, the title just says that this dude basically just got cheated on multiple times. Then his girl came to his crib and trashed his house for something. I don't freaking know. But if you cheated on me multiple times, you have zero, zero reason to trash my house. I could go and crap your mama, your sister, your auntie, your uncle. Oh, oh wait. Hey, yo, pause. No, pause. No, pause. 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 Re I didn't. Hey, let's just watch the video. Jura.com, you can buy two and third free bullet. So, pause, pause, pause. You're, you're recording? All right. I got a message, a question, message. I need, I need y'all to share this. I need y'all to repost. Pause, I pause, di pause. That, I did not say that. You said it. I didn't say, you said it. I didn't say it. Post this. I need answers or whatever y'all thoughts is i want to know about all that all right i'm gonna tell y'all a little story just bear with me all right so my baby mom angeli jimenez you know, angeli jimenez you a little thought Diana. i gotta tell you that right now you know what i mean whatever we've been together seven years whatever the case may be so you know we're going through our ups and downs or whatever and you know i'm an over the road truck driver so i go from here to california and back to I'm not going to lie to you. Over the road, truck drivers, like long range truck drivers, arm, people that's in the army, your girl is cheating on you. I don't know if anybody has told you this before, but I, w I need you to understand that. Your girl is, you have, there's zero chance that she's being loyal to you. Actually, there's a small chance, but trust me, you're not falling in that small chance of bracket. Your girl is cheating on you. Probably multiple times. And I'm sorry if nobody ever told you that, but she's cheating on you. And the thing about like oh like truck drivers and all that like they're not like NBA players or they're not like people that that when they they going out the out the state and then like staying at like nice places or staying um, really in places that they would see other Johns so they could go and cheat on the person too. Truck drivers they sleeping in their truck a lot of times. And then they get a hotel, but they all they all they going is from the hotel to the truck. Like if NBA players, like these people that's traveling for business and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? They go into hotels, and when they at the hotels, they decide to go to the bar in the city and all that stuff, so they can go and find a little John to cheat on them. Now I'm not condoning cheating at all, but I'm just saying like truck drivers and like people in the army, they they can't really cheat. It's harder for them to cheat versus your shorty back at home when your best friend's coming over to see if she's all right. Your best friend's pulling up to be like, are you all right? I know Jimmy's been gone for about 32 minutes now. Are you straight? Do you need anything? I'm naked. Come outside. Like, come on, bro. Like, I'm telling you. Anyways. Provide for my family. I bust my ass. I stay out of way from my kids five, six days at a time to bring that money home to take care of my family. She never needed for nothing. I, you know, I, I do everything. I pay all the bills, send her on trips. We go across country. I buy all the clothes, the girl clothes. I Put the food on the table, all that. Now, I came home from work early one day, found out she was cheating on me. We was engaged. I proposed to her, all that. She was cheating on me. For Give me that mother effing ring back, you little thought. Give me it back. Four months, had a separate relationship, leaving me at the, on bed on Father's Day to go with the next man, all that. Caught her because I came home a day early. She says sorry, all that, all that, you know, whatever, you know, she didn't mean to, I'm so perfect, uh, uh. She ain't mean to, like, I be hate, when do people say, let me watch the video, because I'm finna get mad. Took her back, probably my mistake. Yep. But took her back, try to work it out, because at the end of the day, I want to, I want a family, I want to be with my family. So, you know, took her back, she still was doing her with the same nigga and other niggas, plus other niggas, you know, decided we shouldn't do it no more. And then I decided, you know what? I still want you. I still want to be with you. I still take you back. So this is your problem. You're stupid. This, this is your stupid problem. You're stupid. This is your problem. You're literally one of the stupidest people in the world. Why the heck? Multiple times she cheated on you with multiple different dudes. Are you still taking her, her back? 
said, I don't want to be with you right now. I want to, you know, I want to do my own thing. As in, she wants to be independent, she says. Not with other men. She wants to be independent. And she wants to move out and get her own apartment and all that. And she wants to feel independent. Because I've been taking care of her for seven years. So I'm like, all right, you know, I was hurt. You know, I ain't want, I ain't want to do that. I ain't want her to do that. She did it anyways. I had to, you know, I had to eat that basically. So why she's looking for another apartment, I allow her to stay here. Mind you, I didn't kick her out. I told her I would leave and she could stay here. She said she couldn't afford this place, so she wanted to get another apartment. And this place brought her too many memories. So I said, all right, so I'll stay here. I'll help you find another apartment. On top of cheating, cheating on me and all that, I'm still helping her find another apartment. Yeah, he a goofy. He getting played and he he's he this is his it's all his fault. Well it's not it's not all his fault. She she is a straight Tatiana. But it's his fault for staying there. But I, I can I, I can kinda understand because you know he got a kid with her and stuff like that. He don't really want to break up the, the thing like that. So he really he willing to put his own like personal feelings aside. You know what I'm saying? But that's stupid. There, there's a limit. There's a limit. And trust me, it's past that limit, sir. Gave her money towards the other apartment. $700 to be exact. She had saved a little bit of her own money. Told her, I'm paying half your rent because her rent was $800. i am giving you $400 a month and I'm paying for whatever the girls need on top of that still. Going to work, she's still using my car. Brand new Audi Q5 2013 that I'm still trusting her with. Using my car. Taking it to work. Mind you, she's going on dates in my car. This man is down hysterically. He is down extraordinarily bad. She has, but it's, and I know if, if they didn't have kids together, he wouldn't be doing all this foolishness. You know what I'm saying? He don't seem like that, but he seems like he really want to be a good father. You know what I'm saying? Because he's still taking care of them two girls. Oh, I think it's two girls. He keeps saying daughters, as in it's more than one. You know what I'm saying? So he's still taking care of them, plus paying half the joint. Pay for your own stupid rent. I'll take care of all the kids. And pay for your own stupid rent. Living in an $800 place, where you living? The, 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 the man, though? You living in the bed, though? What the? What? $800 a month? Where are you getting that at? Let me know. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, she has his car still. She is picking up broke dudes that don't got a house or car in her car to take them out on a date in his car. Like, what the? F what? This got to be a joke. But anyways, that's another story. So while she's here, she's laying next to me in the bed. She's still getting texts from other niggas. She's going on dates, getting picked up in front of the house and from other niggas. And all I asked her to do is wait until you move out. Don't disrespect me in my crib. She didn't care. She still was doing it. Honestly, I keep pausing. I'm sorry. This is my last time. This is my last time pausing. I promise you. But like, honestly, is she doing all this? I'm bringing the shawty to the crib and I'm clapping. I'm clapping the shawty on the bed with her in there. Like you want to you want to have dudes pulling up to my house. You know what I'm saying? You want to be taking my car to go drive. You know what I'm saying? And go meet other dudes, get clapped by other dudes. I'm bringing three shorties in my crib and clapping them right in front of you. I promise you. I, I can assure you, and guess one of them is going to be your cousin and your sister. I'm telling you. I'm literally telling you, bro. I'm going to violate you. Because you violated me by getting picked up by dudes in front of my crib. You know what I'm saying? Driving my car over to other dudes' houses and clapping inside my car. You doing all this. I'm bringing a shorty, multiple of them, every night into the crib. Clapping them next to you because you still in the same bed, even if you're in the other room. I'm gonna make sure it's allowed. Allowed, John. She gonna be super loud, screaming through the house, happy. You know what I'm saying? You gonna be in the kitchen talking about, oh my god, and I'm gonna be in the bedroom talking about, oh my god. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. I'm, I would, I would violate. I would beyond violate. So finally, I started. You know what? I right, you're gonna move on. I see there's nothing I could do about it. I'm gonna move on. I start, you know, chilling, you know, doing doing me basically. Yeah. So today I'm picking up from work. Shorty's calling me. It shows up on the Bluetooth on the screen. I hanged up on her. Boom. She called me again. Banged on her again. She called me again. Bang. Cause I'm not gonna pick up a call from another girl in front of my baby mom. I would have called and been like, "Hey, Nakuda was real good last night. You coming again tonight?" Like I, I'm telling you, I would straight violate this shorty. I would straight violate this little girl. You know what I'm saying? You know, even though we already came to the conclusion, you know, that she's doing her and now I finally decided to do me. Now that that happened, she seen that she got mad. I dropped her off at the crib, was taking my friend and dropped him off somewhere else. I come back to this shit on top of everything I just told y'all. Louis Vuitton sprayed. I just cleaned them. That's why they look a little white, but they was red. Sprayed down with some red shit. 
Uggs. Sprayed down with some red shit. Sprayed down with some red shit. Sprayed down with some red shit. My Louis belt is gone. I don't even know where my Louis belt's at. Sprayed down with some red shit. She stabbed up my bed. She cut a hole right here. Boom. Stabbed up my bed, cut a hole right here. What's she? Oh, oh yeah. Let, let's go to the passport. She cut up my passport. What the pa the passport? What the passport got to do with anything? What do the passport? What? How do you? What? How did you even think about the passport? Now he can't go to the Dominican Republic and pick him up a little Dominican shorty to bring him back to the fucking the states. Come on, bro. Okay, she cut up my passport. What else she did around here? Let's see. Uh, oh, the biggest thing, that's material shit. The biggest thing is she left my kids home alone. Yeah, she, she left my kids home alone. Her kids as well. Like, I come home, they crying. Talking about I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, she's already done it. It's over now. Now, now I'm going to have to. Now, I can't say it on YouTube. But, like, bro. That's, forget all the sneakers and the Louis Bell and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? The bed and getting cheated on and all that. You, now you want unfit. My, I'm, I'm taking you to court and I'm, you never seen your kids again, I promise you that. I can, I can assure you that you ain't never seen your kids again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I had to feed them, I had to calm them down. My oldest daughter, like, yeah, mommy left with her friend, Savannah, which, uh, Savannah, you condoning this shit, you a bird for that. Savannah a little Tatiana too. Tatiana's hanging around together. I'm telling you, dudes, right now, if your shawty has a best friend and you know the shawty's best friend is cheating, your girl is cheating. That's just how it works. Girls hang around girls that do the same thing as them. So if a girl cheat, if your girl's best friend is a cheater, trust me, your girl is not being a good influence in her life. She's getting influenced by her. You know what I'm saying? The same thing with dudes, right? If your dude, if you got a boyfriend and you, you know all his all his friends are always talking about cheating and always talking about clapping a bunch of girls when they in relationships, your dude is very open to that. He's getting it's very receptive to him. He's gonna end up cheating on you, or he or he does cheat on you. It's just people not go hang around people like that. Like I would never hang around dudes. I be calling dudes out. They be talking about oh I'm finna cheat on my girl, about about about, or I'm about to go or this shawty look good or whatever. And they in a relationship like that's goofy. That's stupid. I'm not. I don't hang around people like that because I would never do that stupidness. You know what I'm saying? But uh, left her alone. The, the kids alone. The girls are crying. They all hysterical. They don't know where mommy's at. So yeah, I came over here after I dropped my friend off. Knife. She left it on the floor with the door open. With my kids alone. Butcher knife on the floor. Look at this shit. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, you want to fuck my shit up? Fuck my shit up. That's material shit. I buy this shit again. I buy a new mattress. I buy new Uggs. New, new red bottoms. New Louis belt. But you leave the kids alone in the house. You left the knife on the floor. Come on. Man, I can feel the pain in that man's voice. Like, that's crazy. This, you know, girl, it's not even just girls. Because dudes be doing this stupidness, too. But in this instance right now, this girl right here is past, past she's past a little Diana. Now she's just a horrible person overall. And she's, I'm, I already told y'all what's going on for real. Like, I would straight violate. Like, 100% straight violate, and I would not care. I would laugh. She would come inside the room crying about, about, you brought three girls over, and one of them was my mom. I'm like, shut up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing it again tonight. You know what I'm saying? Might as well start calling me stepdaddy at this point. <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. This was crazy. This was crazy. I, pre, me, personally, would never. Personally, would never. Never. Never in my freaking life look this stupid. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Do y'all think he goofy for staying with her? Or do you think that she deserved the second chances? Do you think that she was right for doing all this foolishness? If you do, leave. Cause just, I don't want stupid people watching my video. There's no way that this was right. There's no instance that, instance that this was right. But that's about it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I'm going to see y'all out. I just broke my freaking mic. Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through